G'day, this is Charlie, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can embed a video on your WordPress website using the JW Player plugin. Now, I love JW Player uh, as a video player. Uh, it not only supports standard video, but it also uh, has got some support for HTML5, which is gaining a lot of support out there in the web dev com community. And the benefit of HTML5 is that it can be delivered to your iDevices your iPod, your iPhone, your iPad, uh, and you don't have to worry about videos that um, only display on devices that support Flash. Uh, and, the, and you know, it does it automatically too, so it will, uh, as long as you're using the right movie format, it will detect whether it's an I, I device or a PC and use the right format to display it on your computer. Just magic. And yeah, you know, I, I just love it. So let's go through how we end up with a result that looks a little bit like the video you see on the screen in front of you. There's a few things we're going to go through today. One is um, installing the plugin, uh, configuring the plugin. Then I'm going to show you how you can get a link from uh, Amazon S3 and embed the video on your site um, from Amazon S3. But you can use the process, although it'll be slightly different, with any content delivery network you're using. Um, and, and, and you can host media externally to your website. Uh, and then I'll also show you how we can do it using YouTube and put YouTube videos on your site without actually having to embed the player uh, using the YouTube embed codes, which I know is causing a few people a little bit of grief every now and again. So let, let's start. Uh, the first thing you need to do is log into uh, your WP Admin dashboard. Now this is a test site I've set up. It's a very basic site and I'm only using the 2010 theme because it really all I want to show you here is how we can use the functionality. To install the JW Player, uh, go down to your plugins menu and you'll see that I've got a few plugins that need updating but we're not going to worry about that now and go to the add new uh, menu option and click on add new and once you've got the add new uh, screen up the install plugin screen up we do want to be on the search tab or the search sub menu item and in the term enter JW player and click on search plugins And once we've, we're there, you'll see that you actually get a couple of uh, video player options once you, with, that, with that search term. The one we want is JW Player Plugin for WordPress by Longtail Video. Uh, and for me, that comes up as the top search. Once you find it, click on the install now and say, yes, install the plugin and let WordPress do its magic. Then once you get the, the uh, successful installation screen, click on Activate Plugin. So this is going to install and activate the plugin on your WordPress website straight away. Now once you do that, you'll notice that you get uh, the mustardy yellow um, warning bar at the top under the plugins menu. It says to complete installation of the JW Player plugin for WordPress, please click Install. Now it's really important you do this because if you don't do this your, your player is not going to work. So I'm going to click on the install latest JW player. And the next message I get is successfully downloaded and installed the latest player um, and given me the version number. It does tell you that if you have a licensed version, uh, you can install it through the upgrade page. We're just going to use the, the free version, but you do need to check the licensing for JW Player. They do have some really good licensing breaks uh, if you're running a lot of sites. I purchased a 10 user pack recently and it's it's um been quite cost effective to do it. Uh, and then to make sure that it is working, you get a video that you can start playing. There we go. and the video starts playing. So we know that we've got the latest version installed. The next thing you need to do is go down to the JW Player menu and click on JW Player.
um, it gives you a message about getting the licensed version but underneath that we then have a manage players uh, a view and you'll see that uh, the player is called out of the box and it's got some defaults around it. I'm going to create a custom player because this one has uh, a minimum height of 300 or sorry a height and width of 300 px and 400 px. Click on create custom player and you can give it your own player name here at the top where it says select a player. Instead of leaving it as custom player I always put um, player there you go, you can tell I've done this a few times. 480 by 320, player 640 by 480. Let's use 640 by 480, that's 640 px wide by 400 and p 480 px tall. That's quite large, um, but it will give you a really nice size player for full screen, full width screens. So I'm going to install that one and say player 640 by 480. Um, with the appearance I want the control bar to be at the bottom so if I just flip back to this screen the control bar is at the bottom but you can change the location of the the play bar um, sorry wrong one top over or none you don't have to have a play bar if you don't want it I'm a, I'm a traditionalist I'll leave it at the bottom you then have a choice of skins that you can use um, and there's a whole heap of skins here now if you want to um, change the skin and you don't quite know what they look like click on the link here or open the link here in a new window uh, and you'll get a look at what the skin, skins look like then you can come back and choose the one you want. Um, I leave doc set to false. Uh, auto start if you want your videos to auto start on your site. Um, choose true. I leave it to false because I have a lot of I have a lot of videos on my on my site so I don't want them all auto starting uh, and then height and width we choose the height is 480 px and the width is 640 px so that's going to give me 640 wide 480 tall uh, I'm just going to click next Uh, and then you've got a whole heap of other um, formatting options and usage options here if you like that you can use if you like uh, I'm not going to change any of these at the moment I'm going to leave them as standard but you can go through and have a play with them see what they all do uh, the documentation on JW Player is pretty good on their website it's pretty good and their forums pretty helpful too uh, scroll down and click on save and we're just going to save that as a custom player so now if I scroll down the screen again you'll see that I've got out of the box and we've set and the default has been set to our new player 640 by 480.